guys, kumusta po? This is Abby. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well. Today, I'm going to be sharing you all of the SLG collection that I have. Actually, do, you, do I have to call it collection? Because I'm not really collecting. These are just the things that I have right now. So, I'm gonna be starting. I'm just gonna be showing you all of them right here. So, I have a... A sheet cheat over here because I don't memorize all of their name you know names so let's just start with this uh, this is the Chanel um, flap card case that's what they call it this in caviar leather this is uh, the one with the diamond quilts on it this is the small version that doesn't have the pocket at the back so, and it has that um, maroon color inside. So this bad boy over here fits up to 16 or more cards if you want. The way I use this one is I usually put like one card in front. And usually I put my um, ID. So let's say you put an ID there. This is how it's gonna look like, or a card over there. This is how it's gonna look like. It's gonna show a little bit of it there. And then it has a, lar a larger compartment over there. Or over here, <laughs> should I say. Uh, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So, total of 13 cards. You know what? I don't like them. I don't like the uh, 13 number, so let me get another card, so 14 cards. So these are 13 and one in there. I'm just going to put them all in here. I usually don't stock a lot of card like this because I'm not going to really need a lot of it. So basically, I have 14 cards all together in there. So this is how it looks like on the side. Yeah, but I don't really use a lot of card, or I don't really uh, bring a lot of card. You can actually put uh, bills in there. The way you do it, you just have to just, you know, if you have bills, you just fold it. And you fold it like that. Try fold and you should just put it here at the back. Just like that. All right, guys, so that's the first one. That is the Chanel flap card case, and this is the small version they have. Uh, I just call it small version because I know they have the, a little bit bigger version of this that has the pocket at the back. All right, and let's move to one of my favorite, of course. This is the um, key pouch. I have, uh, I think I have, I have a video. I can link it you know down below I use this a lot guys I just put some card in here some bills in here and then of course I have to just attach my um, key over here my fob over here and I just you know I just put it in my bag and you're ready to go so this one probably it will only fit one two three four let's see five um, five cards if you have your ID, your credit card, your debit card, that's five card and it still has a lot of a space in there. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Or let's put eight cards in there. So this, this is already eight, oops, sorry. This is already eight cards and it still has more space. So it, it is, you know, you can easily fit up to 10 cards in there. Flash your bills, how it's gonna look like. Again, this is one of my favorite. I use this a lot. It's the Louis Vuitton key pouch. So that's the second one. The third one, I'm gonna be sharing you, I guess, if you are a beginner. LV key holder. This, uh, the, this one has the six key holder. I have this for a long time now, guys. So it's already been, you know, it's been used and abused. And I use this to put my card on the side of two cards usually just your ID and one credit card that's how I use it so I put it like that and then you can still put a bill here but you know I don't really use it as that but you know this is 
how it's gonna look like with the two cards over there and then you can put your fab here I usually put uh, my fab one of this key um, holder and then I kind of you know put it out like that or take it out like that from this one and then just close it up I don't have my um, key fab over here to example it but then just put it in your um, in your bag but this has already been used and abused and I have it for a long time and it's not that expensive if you're a beginner I can really recommend you having this or the key pouch you know just to start these are the things that you know um, you can start with Louis Vuitton that you're going to be using a lot so that's the third one and the fourth one I'm gonna be sharing you this um, it's the YSL zippy card case I also made a video about this you know along with the bag that I got so this one fits one two three four five uh, card slots over here but the thing with this guy you know I have not really been reaching for it I'm not really been using it because I'm having hard time to um, put the card in it so that's a little bit you know kind of hard for me so that's one you know two three four let's say see the fifth card is kind of hard to put it in already so you really have to push it yeah that's the only thing with this one i love it it's in grain leather that they have from ysl i just put like probably two cards at the back and then put most uh, most of the cards inside so you can basically just put the cards in there with the bill that you have and that's it to so this one this is the uh gucci um key uh key holder six key holder also i have i have not used this one yet but i have it so might as well you know share it with you guys i got this in outlets for a really good price but this is how it looks like it has uh, that silver um hardware for the six card holder or not six card holder six key holder one two three four five six it has that middle thing in here it's it's a round one i think for a bigger like the fab i have it is i think it's this is the uh, gucci shima if i'm not mistaken leather so yeah i have not used this but i don't think i can use this like where you can just like the louis vuitton key holder that you can put your card let's try putting one card on once on the there's a slot over here yeah just use this for a bill like if you you can just fold the bill really small and just fit it in there so yep this is the gucci i got this in outlet for a really good price so check out your local outlet over wherever you live guys and then let's move to a little bit bigger one so this is the mini pochette everybody knows the mini pochette lvs i use this in so many you know so many ways you can use this as a bag like if you just wanted to um bring it as a bag i have the chain over here that you can easily purchase in amazon this is how it looks like it's just a gold chain um you can just attach it over here and on the other side over here and i don't really remove the original chain that comes with it so you can put a lot of stuff with this small little guy over here guys so let's see what fits in here I have stuff i don't have stuff with me here like i don't have you know what let me get let me get some All right guys i'm back i just have to get some stuff that i could actually show you how uh what we uh what would fit on this mini pochette one so i'm just gonna show you you know i can actually put my passport in it you know easily you can put your passport in there you can put like a makeup powder or you know a makeup powder in there uh you can put a lippy in there 
Oh, by the way, this is, I just wanted to show you guys, this is a YSL lipstick that was given to me by my friend. Thank you so much, Chris, for giving this to me. Special mention, right? I just wanted to show you that you can actually engrave your name in there. See, she did it. She made it made for me. If you can see it, I hope you can really see it. It says Abby in there. It's really cute. Thank you. So you can put your lip in there, your foundation or your powder in there. So basically just a powder, a lippy and a passport in there. But I just wanted to show you that the passport size can fit in this, you know, mini pochette one. This is how it's going to look like on the side. So if you don't need to bring your passport, it's not going to fit my bigger iPhone, you know, on the mini pochette. Just the XS, I guess, but not my iPhone. But you can put your lippy in there if you have your AirPods, you know, you can put your AirPods, your powder, your lippy, your sanitizer, all together in there if you kind of want it a little bit full, but it all fits. That's how it's going to look like. But basically, you know, when you use this, you use it as a, uh, a, uh, a bag inside, a small bag inside of your bag. And then let's move. This is my favorite. I use this a lot. This is the um, Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch or cosmetic bag. I have this for years now. It's a little bit dirty inside, but it has that light brown. But you can actually clean it, uh, clean it inside. But that's how it looks like. I use this a lot. I use this with uh, my. Louis, uh, Louis Vuitton uh, Pochette Matisse bag. I kind of just put everything that I have in here and it holds a lot. It holds a lot of things. Well, of, of the stuff that I have, you know, the, the makeup stuff, the lipstick, the powder, another a shiny powder for the face, this AirPods, this one, and then if you want your, you know, wallet in there too, you can easily put it there. If you want another wallet in there, you can easily, it holds a lot of stuff. So again, this is also my recommendation if you're just starting with Louis Vuitton, things that you can, you know, buy um, through Louis Vuitton. This is really a good um, good deal to have. Look how the um, shadow looks like. This is a little bit lighter, or this is a little bit lighter than here. I don't know why, but look how it is. I just saw it right now. I am not sure. Maybe this is more exposed than this one. The Vachetta. So that's the one. And then let's move to this one. This is the Emily uh, wallet, Louis Vuitton Emily wallet. I probably have this for seven years now. I uh, usually pair it with my Neverfull bag i also have the the mirror uh, 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 ebin this is really cute i like the maroon color or whatever color they call this one i love this kind of color so this one fits four cards in there and then it has more pockets it has the pocket here pocket in here and then more space or pocket in here and then you have the zippy you know change where you put your change or your coin zippy coin and i love that it comes with this leather holder for the zipper instead of the metal one it's just cute i have this probably for seven years i had my nephew special mention again my nephew nico lives in london so every time he visits here in the states i asked him to buy me some goodie goodies out there so this is one of them i love using it actually i can show you this one fits passport because i used it before i put my passport in there see or maybe you can put it like this way so it's you know see it easily fits passport in there very comfortably yes this one also holds cards of course it holds for um let me just get some cards in here so I can show you the card slots, four of them. And you put bills, of course, and then you can 
I usually put receipts at the very back here. I usually put receipts in there. And then you put your, you know, your uh, bills over here. And then you can put more cards in there if you want to. But this is how it's going to look like with your passport in there and some cards and some change. I think I have some change in there right now. Oh, yes, I do have change. And I think I have, uh, yeah, I have some change and I have a necklace. I have not removed. I brought this on a weekend to a wedding uh, of my nephew so see it's good I I didn't remember I have a, a jewelry over here so you can also put some jewelries over here so this one is one of my favorite this is the Emily wallet from Louis Vuitton and then let's move to Sarah wallet this is the Sarah wallet this is the same it has this brown or oh, dark brown um, color inside, which is I love. I just don't like light color, but because it usually, you know, you, the, the dirt in your hands and the oil in your hands easily transferred to a little bit lighter, you know, um, colored canvas or leather. So this one, guys, is a bigger wallet. It's bigger than the Emily wallet. This is in monogram print. It has the pocket at the back. It holds a lot of stuff. So again, it can hold your passport, of course. I also use this to travel before. You can put your passport there and it holds 16. It has a 16 card slot. So this is one, two, three, four. And then at the back of this front one, he has another four another four card slots over here and then another six card slots at the back here so just to show you guys another six and then of course it has the zippy uh, place where you can put all your change or your coins i don't have a coin here right now but it has a lot of compartment and you it holds a lot of things so again this is the sarah wallet from Louis Vuitton and it has this you usually put some receipts over here when I use it after I purchase something it will fit my <sighs> this is the bigger iPhone I have right now and it fits here comfortably <laughs> so the last one I have they actually called it the LV never full pochette pouch this is the pouch that came um, came with my Neverfull uh, MM bag. So I see a lot of people, they use this as a clutch. You use this when you travel. You can put your passport in here too. But a lot of people, I guess, I have not really uh, looked. I don't know how they can actually accessorize this or probably use this as a bag. But if you have a, like a chain because it has a gold hardware on it, I am not sure if you can actually put the chain. Um, let's see. I don't know if it if it looks okay or if it's gonna look weird carrying it this way, but or even over a body. I think you can you can actually um, do it like this way. If you don't mind, you know, having it this way. Yes, and then you can just grab your stuff, whatever you need, your wallet or whatever you have in there that you need, and then just close it back. You just make sure that you zip zip it back because it's like this way instead of being this way. But yeah, this is another thing that, you know, it's really nice to buy like the Never Fool bag because it already comes with this um, pochette pouch with it so yes those are all my the things that i have right now the slgs that i have right now i don't want to call it collection because i'm not really collecting anything like that i just you know buy them and i have them for a long time and some of them are new but i'm not really collecting um stuff but i hope you really enjoyed this video please 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 subscribe if you have not subscribed well, thank you so much again for watching guys i hope everybody's well 
Once more, always stay safe, always stay healthy. Maraming salamat po sa panonood. Until next time, have a good day. Bye!